Hi, I'm Rama and welcome to my art space. I'm here again on another um, cafe hunt and I'm here in this awesome cafe called Stout Cafe and I'm trying to see if I could find the inspiration to paint another gouache painting today. So I hope you join me and see how my work will turn out. time and I'm on a mission to eat and relax and of course to paint but let me have my lunch first I'm really here for the shakshuka which costs 300 pesos or about five dollars it's during this time that I scouted for a good painting subject do I get inspiration actually there's really no specific um, object where I get my inspiration it's just anything that I think is beautiful or um, you know pleasing to the eyes I think that's worth painting whenever I look for subjects to paint I just roll my eyes around and look which would be worth a space in my canvas <laughs> finally i've chosen this set of table and chairs as my subject i forgot to bring pencil again so i had to sketch with the use of the paint now not bringing a pencil along is a really bad habit so don't imitate me I realized that this is a complicated subject because I had to capture the details outside the door. Even though these details outside will be covered by the subject on the foreground and even by the door, I had to detail them so I would not leave gaps. Now the trouble with this is that there's a tendency that it would be cloudy within the day, so the shadows would not be as sharp as I've first seen them. I also had the trouble of making straight lines for the door, especially that I did not bring a ruler along or even a washi tape. It's time to make the blinds that attracted me in the first place. I knew this would be a difficult subject to take, but you know, we have to take challenges at times. The trouble with painting landscapes is that there's a tendency that the shadows will move because the sun would move from its place. That's why it's important to take note where the light and shadow fall. Coffee time! This was the point that I debated with myself on whether to include these Halloween decors into my work. I'm sorry, I'm not a fan of these things. But I decided to put the decors in as a means of capturing the moment. You know, it's like a photography where the camera captures everything that it sees. This also shows in what season this painting was made. My instincts as a former reporter is kicking in because I just wanted to show what I see. This is the final phase of the painting. This set of table and chairs is really my target. Now that my painted sketch was already covered up, I had to consult my memory on how I drew them in the first place. Ah, and I nearly forgot these two details. I guess this is the cherry of today's cake. I think I finished this painting for about 
four hours because I started like about 12 o'clock and it's now 4 p.m. For quite some time, I'm able to do a detailed gouache painting again and it's, this place is nice to paint in and this place also has a good ambience and has lots of inspiration on what you want to paint. I'm just going to fix my things and I'll be heading home soon which is just near this place so I, it's easy for me to come back here again. So thank you very much for joining me and if you like this video please click the thumbs up and if you're here in my channel for the first time click subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified of future videos. Again, I am Rama and thank you very much. Hope to see you again in my next art space. So my introverted side is attacking me again. <laughs> Ubus na kape ko. Ubus na rin yung s'mores cookies ko. Parang gusto ko bang bumili.